shadow cabinet as leader, would Ed Miliband be in that shadow cabinet? Liz? I don't know what Ed's going to be doing. Well, but, assuming um, he's an MP, so he's available to serve in a shadow cabinet. Look, uh, no. Would you ask him? Um, I think we need a new generation of people. Uh, in the shadow cabinet, so that's we a no. have got to we, we have got to kind of lead our party away from this catastrophic debate. So just, had. just to be clear, you wouldn't ask Ed Miliband know, look, to be in your shadow you know, cabinet. I don't know what Ed is doing. I haven't spoken to that's him. I've had a brief conversation assuming, with him. Assuming that he was willing to serve, would you want him in your shadow cabinet? I haven't made any decisions yet about who would be in the shadow cabinet. I'm focused on winning this election so that we save our party and can change. So the I'm, I'm taking it that you wouldn't, judging. I mean, I'm reading between the lines I here really because you won't. Have not uh, made any decisions about a shadow cabinet, but I think we need a new generation of politicians to help lead us into the future. So that's does that mean that Andy and Yvette wouldn't be in it either? No, they have a massive amount to contribute, but that's what I'm, we need. We need to make sure that we have got people in the shadow cabinet who bring experience with them, well, but Billy also Bound, a fresh, he was in a fresh face cabinet too. for three I, years. You're not going to be able to push me in on saying he would be in my shadow cabinet. <laughs> of course you're going to try that. I it's don't your laugh job. Yet, Andy, you're, uh, you're, you're that is your up. job, but I'm not going to fall right, into Jer that trap. Jeremy, what would your answer be? Yes, yes or no? I would want Ed to be doing what Ed did very well, which was when he was Environment Secretary dealing with climate change issues. Dealing so you with want those, him to be Environment I Secretary? I would want him to be very involved in those you issues. See, now, why, can't, why can't you give an answer got, like that? He's got amazing abilities because in that I, because area. Because I have been honest in saying I haven't well, been, you haven't been giving honest. out. Yes, I have. You must know whether you want a former leader of your party in your shadow cabinet. I have not made any decisions about a shadow cabinet yet, and I don't know what Ed what is, wants to do in future. I know who I I'd have in my shadow cabinet. Uh, I'm not even an MP. Oh, well, good. Who would that be then? You. Um, <laughs> Thanks very much, Ian. Uh, Andy, can you give me a straight answer? Well, I like you very much, Ian, but I'm uh, not doing my cabinet reshuffle live on your programme. So why uh, were you program. laughing when uh, she gave that answer? Much, well, because I make I him smile, Ian. I, I always make him smile. I mean, it's you right, said the other day it? that you'd but, have Jeremy you know, in the shadow Ed, cabinet, so why can't you tell no, me if you have his mind on that? Ed has got a huge amount to contribute, and I think... In time, but just not in your he, shadow cabinet. Pardon? Just not in your shadow but cabinet. I don't know what he wants to do, and, and Liz is. Uh, Liz, we don't know what. I, we don't know what Ed wants to do. What? But he's got a massive contribution to make, and in some ways, uh, William Hague, what? in the same way, kind of made a, a, a contribution as leader, went away, and then came back. I don't know what Ed wants to do, but think, I, I can imagine that he will play a big role Labour in politics. Every Labour Party member or activist listening to this now or watching us at lbc.co.uk, um, I think they would like to know what kind of people you would want in your shadow cabinet. You told us on Sunday you wanted Jeremy Corbyn in your shadow cabinet. I didn't cabinet. say that. You I, did I say that because I was watching. Anyway, oh, you were joking. Well, I said I didn't Why? expect so to joke, have... Jeremy had just done a whole thing about he's how the joke. deficit doesn't really... No, 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 definitely not. He's making a very important well, contribution. Why would you joke today. about it? I mean, it's a simple but question. But I said, I said that after Jeremy had said a long thing about the deficit, which I didn't agree with, that I wouldn't necessarily have him as shadow Are you chancellor. seriously expecting us all to set out exactly who would be in a shadow I'm not asking now. for all 20 members, but I think yeah, it's but the an minute entirely you say, reasonable the, the minute question you say one or to two. ask. Well, in fact, it's not me asking. Him, it's I Martin think... in Barnes asking. Yeah, sorry, I think Martin. He, I think he represents a lot of Labour activists and supporters who want to know what you would do with Ed Miliband. Now, Yvette Cooper, can you help us out on this one? Well, having been asked this question about lots of different people and lots of different questions about it's the not, shadow cabinet, it's not lots I've of given... Well, this I is know, your former leader who you served under. Yeah, but I've just given the same answer, I'm afraid, every single time I've been asked about this, which is to say I am not going to presume well, on the Labour Party members who are going to be let, voting. Let, let me put oh, it Dave, to you on, 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 well, You asked about exactly Ed, but you asked why. specifically about no, Ed. And I think this is exactly why Jeremy Corbyn is shown in this time poll, Times poll this morning as way ahead of the rest of you because that's he's given me a straight answer to a straight question and the three of you can't do that. I don't think that's the reason that. why Jeremy, Jeremy's ahead in the poll. Uh, I don't think that at all. I think that you know we have been through a huge trauma as a party in the defeat. And well, uh, if you don't like are... this, you're going to go through another one, aren't you? Because if you can't answer simple questions no, like that, that, you people must want have given their, some people want in their leader somebody who is going to be able to apply our values right. to the world as it is, be a credible government, and not take us back to being an unelectable party of protest. Right, well, I, that I, is I the can challenge see that I'm not leader. going to get an answer out of the three of you. So let's move on. <laughs>